I would have to think, I, I don't know if you've talked to him about it at all, but Tiger had to respect the hell out of you. Because, I mean, you gave him everything you got every time. You, like you said, you never backed down. He didn't scare you. I mean, to go out there with Tiger with a three-shot lead going in the final round and you to shoot 68 to his 71, like probably everyone in the world thought this thing was over going into Sunday. And you went out there and said, no, sir, not yet. Yeah, no. And, and you know, he, he was – he's very respectful, but he loves that. That's what he wants. He, he doesn't want somebody to cower and go away. He wants to be challenged. I mean, that's his drug. His drug is to be in that situation and then outperform whoever he's playing. And, you know, he is a very respectful guy. He, he respects you for what you can do. And, you know, he is, you know, he definitely, you know, whenever you, you hear him comment on whether it was the PGA Championship with Bob May or the U.S. Open with Rocco Media, he always throws a lot of respect towards us for, for challenging him and putting him up to that, you know, that big fight. That's funny. You Correct. look at the, the the three guys that really challenged him, like took him to extra holes. Yeah, were were not the longest guys, not the biggest guys. I mean, they were big under, honestly, probably big underdogs going against him. I mean, he could overpower him, and all three of you just went toe to toe with him until the very end. Well, we all were really good drivers of the golf ball, really good iron players, and really good putters. So he knew he had to be on. It didn't matter, you know. Sunday at Augusta that year, I mean. He was hitting at 50, 60, 70 by me all day, and I was hitting it closer to the pin every hole. So, you know, he knew that the game was on, that he had to go out and play his, you know, play some good golf. I mean, he was working on his golf swing. I think he just started working with Hank Haney at the time. So, you know, there were some things going on. But, um, you know, he 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 watched me hit it. And, I mean, a couple of lippings on the, the lip outs in the front nine, and, I mean, it could have been a different story. But, again, you know, you're playing Tiger Woods at Augusta. You know, he seems to pull out some great things there. And didn't so you chirp him, correct me if I'm wrong, did you chirp him a little going from 9 green to 10, <laughs> 10T or something along the li those lines? Am I remembering that correctly? We, we were we were walking down 11, and, and I just hit one a little closer to him again, and I just said, are you tired of putting first yet? And he just went, f*** off. <laughs> <laughs> You're hitting four iron, probably he's hitting wedge. Yeah, that yeah. gets old. That's I mean, but he loves that. I mean, he yeah. loves that kind of stuff. He really does. You know, it's a, it's a funny story. I mean, one of the funny stories was as I was playing – that that day we were getting ready to tee off and I was on the range and just him and I in the range and the Gators won a national championship in basketball that week on Monday. So I took a golf ball and I wrote go, get, go Gators on it and I chipped it down to him and hit a really nice little chip that right kind of right into his bucket there. And um, he lifted it up, took a Sharpie out, scratched, sent it back down to me and he scribbled out go Gators or go when he wrote, wrote F the Gators. So I still have, <laughs> I still have that golf ball. He doesn't sign balls, but I have that one.